Hey everyone, today we will be going over the Battle of Mogadishu. Here's some facts about Mogadishu. Uh, Africa is a continent. It is the capital city of Somalia. Population over there is over two, 2 million. And it is considered a republic. Some facts about Somalia. Uh, ethnic groups, 85% of them are Somali. There's also Arabs and Bantu. Exports over there are livestock, bananas, and fish. They also have an external debt of $2.6 billion. 41.9% uh, of the children ages 5 through 14 are currently working over there. Uh, they were colonized by the European nation in the late 1800s, and the religion over there is Sunni Muslim. Uh, Som Somalia has a violent history, and it's been rated one of the top most dangerous countries in the world every year. Uh, hazards over there include piracy, terrorism, theft, human trafficking, and interclan inter fighting. Now, in the 1980s and the 1990s, violence over there was on the rise. Uh, this allowed warlords to come into power, and uh, these forces went into war with one another. Well, due to this uh, war going on between the warlords, you know, there was starvation and hunger over there. And, well, reports and images got to, you know, the world and this encouraged them to take action by uh, delivering supplies and food to the wary. Well, the warlords will claim these supplies before it even got to the, to the people in need. Now, President George H.W. Bush sent American forces to Somalia to counteract these warlords and to make sure that, you know, the people in need got the supplies and that they would be fed. Um, by the fall of 1993, the mission had expanded to one of restoring a government in Somalia. Now, attention fell to one man in particular uh, by the name of Mohammed Farah Adib or General Adid. Uh, Adid was a Somali military commander and faction leader. He would steal food. He also killed 24 Pakistani peacekeeping troops. Uh, now the United Nations, the United Nations uh, looked to capture Adid. And Mara Howe, which was a UN senior administrator, requested the use of the US Special Forces, the Delta Forces, and the Army Rangers. Now these would be the task force rangers, which were 400 trained specialists with the sole purpose of capturing uh, General Adib. And also there was a $25,000 bounty on Adib's head. The mission, on October 3rd, 1993, U.S. intelligence learned of a secret meeting that was going to take place in Mogadishu, and uh, Adib was going to be attending this meeting. Now, Somali insiders confirmed that 90 people would be in this meeting, including Adid, and uh, they saw this as an opportunity to capture the general. <clears throat> now, Army Rangers, Delta Forces, AH-1 helicopter gunships, Little Birds, and UH-60 Blackhawks would be utilized for the attack. Uh, they ended up capturing 24 prisoners, but not Adid, I see never even attended the meeting. Now, when the U.S. attacked, within minutes, hundreds of uh, armed Somali civilian soldiers marched at the Americans. Uh, a Black Hawk, was, Black Hawk was taken down by an enemy RPG rocket. Uh, then the mission turned into a rescue as the Americans attempted to navigate through the city while under fire to get to the crash site. <clears throat> Uh, moments later, there was the second Black Hawk that was shot down, and now these soldiers had to run out of the city in like maze-like streets. The next morning, armored vehicles arrived to save these men. Now, the aftermath of uh, the battle was from October 3rd through the 4th in 1993. 
There was a 90-minute mission that turned into a deadly 17 hours. The U.S. casualties were 73 wounded, 18 were dead, and one helicopter pilot was taken prisoner by the name of uh, Michael Durant. He was later released 11 days later. Uh, Somalia casualties, over 500 militiamen and civilians died and over 1,000 were wounded. And now this shaped the U.S. policy and restricted American involvement in humanitarian crisis. I think that's it. Thank you all.